Welcome to the Digital Sales Fireside. Our topic today, IT strategy is key to leading in the manufacturing industry. Our guest today is Iqbal Deboywala. He is the SVP of IT applications at Ultra Clean Technologies. All right, well, first, I just want to congratulate you on your recent launch of your digital sales platform. And, uh, you know, it's great. And thank you for your time today. So, you know, maybe the first thing is give us some context about Ultra Cream Technology, UCT, you know, the industry you're in, the clients, kind of the business model, things like that. It'd be great to start, start there. Uh, that, that's pretty important. First of all, kudos to the entire team, actually. It was really a team effort, and people really put in a whole lot of hard work in these trying times to make that happen. You know, Ultra Clean Technologies belongs to an industry which is known as the wafer fabrication equipment industry. This is an industry which has consolidated over a period of time, and we are basically low-volume, high-complexity manufacturing industry. We are more of engineer-to-order, make-to-order than a make-to-stock. And we make equipment that is largely capital intensive, requires a huge amount of investment, you know, that goes into making of wafers in the semiconductor industry. And we make machines that, you know, make the next generation technology and have a notable presence in all the critical elements of a semiconductor production process, right? So it's a very complicated and a complex industry that we operate in. Okay, that's that's helpful in the background and in the the business model. So maybe it'd be helpful to let people know, like, what were business challenges that kind of you know triggered or started driving the the program and that in the kind of you know investment and focus on the digital sales platform. We were actually on a trajectory to do this, but the pandemic kind of accelerated. It has accelerated everything. It has really, really forced people, I would say, to to really make progress very quickly. Because of the lack of ships, there are line downs in automotive industry, right? Yeah. Um, there, there are huge challenges in the supply chain. You, our customers are under pressure and you have pressure in the upstream. It all flows downstream. So tier one, tier two, tier three suppliers, everybody is under pressure, right? To turn around very quickly. And now you have all these challenges and these challenges are global in nature. It's not restricted to a particular geography. The other thing is... Um, we are a global company with multiple locations, and yeah. so are our customers. And yeah. all these locations have to work with each other, and they communicate with each other, and they have to have transparency in each of their operations. So the challenge in coordinating and everything is, is huge. And if you, if you really don't do it well, it leads to extended lead times. It leads to a lot of rework. The other thing is that there's this huge challenge in terms of getting the right people today. Every industry is facing that. We would rather have our folks uh, doing valuated work rather than doing some non-valuated work. You know, you just can't go and hire somebody because there is a paucity and yeah. a lack of talent in the employee market, right? You know, I guess like, you know, your industry, your, the preciseness of, of your industry in general, right? The preciseness that your clients are expect of your, of your operation to make sure, you know, what they're ordering, when they can get it. So like, you know, what were some of the challenges that you saw, you know, you were solving with this? So what did the platform help you get to? Yeah. So we were looking for such a platform that would, um, you know, number one, accelerate our time to value. Number two, would not turn us into a software development house, right? And yeah. number three, which was, which would be flexible, moldable, and changeable based on the demands that our business condition would require, right? So all these things were some of the challenges that we were trying to solve. And we, we tried out other platforms and it really did not work for us because the time to value was too much. It required a lot of customization to more. Give a little sense of like when you started, you know, looking at the platform and going forward, like when, you know, that time to value, what, what was that window like for you to, to actually so, start seeing this in your business? For us, time to value was really important. And uh, while it was important, the challenge that we had was that we had to find the right kind of thing. I mean, we yep. can't just go on a journey for two years and then figure out, hey, this is not the right thing for us. We wanted to get yep. up and running at least the first piece of it in the first six months. What were kind of like 
lessons learned or kind of challenges you overcome that you would give, you know, other leaders like yourself in the same position, looking at, you know, a transition in the go to market or be more precise in what the execution, what would be some of the things you would give them as advice? I think most of the leaders uh, who are on this call probably have experienced this also, but here is what we found for this. We thought, at least I thought that we took quite some significant amount of time to really choose a platform. I think at times you really get into analysis paralysis. And I, I think that is something that people should really keep an eye on. You, you need to time box it is, is the way I look at it. And then, you know, like every project, what was, what is the business problem you're trying to solve? And uh, we did a good job on that because yeah. we involved business very early. So you need to involve the stakeholders pretty early on so that you know that you're going to get sponsorship as you go along. You know that people will be committed to it as you go along. The sooner you start, the sooner you start achieving your goals and sooner you show to people what you are capable of, what this particular platform is capable of doing, it generates a whole lot of interest. People get engaged and uh, you get actionable feedback. So the sooner you get in in production, the sooner you will get very good feedback, the sooner you'll be able to enrich the solution, the platform to your needs. Right. We follow the agile methodology to make sure that we are able to show, display value to the end users, to have them touch and feel it as soon as we could, so that we could get feedback from a whole lot of people. So, so le- less on the software development, more on the user side of things. So oh, yeah. Like- yeah. I, I, think, I think the user experience was very, very important for a tool like this, because this really transforms the way people work. It helps them do things faster more efficiently and it cuts down a whole lot of non-valuated things you know it it just drives transparency and and what would you know maybe push a little bit what was the what what are the learnings or surprises you had from the platform that you didn't expect right well i I think the one of the things that we absolutely like is that um, we we can get in uh, fixes very quickly (laughs) into the system as i said the flexibility is is just really mind-boggling you know, the fact that you can really get this fixes in or really, you can really make the chain very quickly is something that people just love. Great to kind of give a little bit of sense of your business and see the complexity that you had to put into your platform. Just give a little sense of like how that works with you. The way it works is that we get uh, design specifications uh, from our customers and we are an aggregator. So we, we look at that, we, we look at all the components that go into it. But sometimes when you design, you know, it, it's really not ready for manufacturing. So we have to go back and forth with our customers on some of the design so that there are a lot of interactions involved and it it really needs to be very fast, very quick, very transparent, right? Because the people that you're dealing with would be in a different time zone. Similarly, we don't manufacture all the components that go into the assembly. We have our yeah. own suppliers, right? So when we give them the design specs, they also might have certain, you know, we might have certain iterations with them too, because they would face the same problem that we are facing. And it just gets very complicated. So this kind of complexity really can be addressed. That's helpful. I think, so I think it was great. I think it's, you know, the complexity of our business, people, you know, can feel it now. Uh, any final comments that, you know, if, if somebody stepped in to kind of look at their own building a digital platform you want to share? Well, all I can say is that, uh, you know, you, you just need to keep on moving forward. And as I said in the past, you know, if you want to fail, you've got to fail fast rather than, you know, <laughs> wait for a long time to do that. It, it's all about action, action, action. All right. Great. Well, appreciate your time. And I, I think this is great learnings for folks as they go forward, they, they start launching their programs. All right. Well, all the best. Well, thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. Really appreciate it. In the name of Inmind Cloud, thank you for joining us. Sign up for the next episode of our digital sales fireside. See you soon. <laughs>